Hello and bonjour, Prescott Van Meyer here, sommeliering from home. I am so excited about today's episode. We will be trying out a very popular product, White Claw. You're gonna find this product all over the place from frat parties, poolside, IHOP parking lots, Karen's at all their soccer events, all sorts of places people are loving the White Claw. And as I just learned on the Twittersphere, there aren't any laws when you're drinking the claws. I don't know if that's true, <laughs> legally, you know, but uh, I'm excited, so let's give it a try. There's kind of a little bit there, like a Malbec or a, or a cab, like a taxi cab. Mmm, I just got triggered. Interesting. Certainly some indication that there is some flavor in there. Uh, kind of reminds me of those wonderful Luden's cherries you know, little tickle in your throat during the winter time. Uh, like you're licking the inside of the wrapper. All right, we have 5% alcohol, so that is, uh, that's good. The varietals are not subtle. Let's give it another one just for the mouth feel. Actually, with that second swig that I took, it's a little bit more Robitussin than Luden's. You know, with the mouth feel and the aftertaste. Certainly very tingly. Lots of carbonation. Oh yes, that does say frat party. <laughs> now black cherries are a variety that you will find in uh, no fruit juice in this beverage. Okay. All right, that actually checks out a little. <laughs> Karen's crush these and I think I get it. The flavor is so subtle, you might not even know it's there. So the aftertaste, uh, that is now in my throat is, is new for me. I don't know if I'd, I'd call it a taste. It's kind of clawing. It's kind of clawing. I get it now. White claw as it claws at your taste buds. For pairing with this, I'm thinking corn nuts. Maybe ranch flavored corn nuts. Don't have to be fresh. So let's give White Claw Black Cherry a rating today. As you know in wine, we go from zero to 100. And the White Claw I'm going to give today a 12, which is actually higher than I thought I was going to give it. With all of the weights in mouthfeel, flavor, aftertaste, a 12 is right in line with its budget. Well, thanks for being with us today. Hopefully you'll join us next week when we try out malt liquor.